everybody what's up circus here coming at you with the november 2020 casey cup predictions i got herf in here because no one else was available how you doing <laughs> herf good how about you not too bad not too bad so we're gonna try to predict what the meta is gonna be but to do that we need to go back don't we buddy we need to go back to the last casey cup because this is gonna be the first casey cup without element sabers in it and it yeah. might have XZs in it, even. Yeah, so this is the first uh, KC Cup that you're not going to see Element Sabres in the top 100. I don't think it's possible. It might be. Sorry. There's going to be someone that finds be. a way, right? But it's clearly like not like meta-defining like it was for so long. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is also the first KC Cup, like you said, with XZs in it. I don't think it's going to be super like relevant, but you'll definitely see like some... Exchange cards like Diamond, Dire Wolf, stuff like that, where it's like you can make it anyway, so why not put it in there? All right, right now I have Battle Phase Monday live on the screen. And over here, if you look, this is the new Shark deck on the screen. Are we going to see the Shark deck? It's an XZ's deck? Uh, probably not. The new Shark Gradle deck? No? You don't <laughs> think it'll do well? Uh, I mean, it could, but... This is top eight. We're in top eight right now. Personally... I think in terms of like meta decks for this Casey Cup, I think you're going to see the the big three that you're going to have to tech for mm -hmm. are Car Curry, Chris Strong's, and Shiranui. Like those are the top three decks. All right, thank you. Good night, everybody. I mean, we already knew that, that coming into it. What, I mean, what are you telling us? That's said, new? All right, all right. So I'm saying that those are those are clearly like the best three decks to play. Like right. if you're just trying to do well by yourself. However, I definitely think that there are a lot of really strong rogue options that maybe haven't been like been viable in past KC Cups. Like Arrow Mage XYZ stall. Uh precisely. Yes. That... <laughs> but uh more more specifically, I think Blue Eyes and Luna Lights could have a really good KC Cup. Mm -hmm. And this to address Blue Eyes first, Blue Eyes are kind of considered to have a pretty good Shirinui matchup. As well as um, they, they're considered to have kind of a free Crestron matchup because you can just have like a, a graveyard negate every turn. Uh -huh. As well as you put a lot of offensive pressure with Spirit Dragon being able to banish their Umi, stuff like that. So, in that sense, you know, Blue Eyes definitely seem to be like a pretty good pick. Uh, their biggest weakness then would be like Car Curry. So, you definitely want to tech for that. Okay. Uh, but Luna Lights, I think, is the biggest sleeper pick going into this Casey Cup, just purely because we have so many extra deck reliant like decks in the format right now that it's absolutely crazy. And largely, Luna Lights have a pretty free matchup versus Car Curry. Uh, outside of Cash Shed, there's really nothing that they can do because all of their back row targets and then Saber Dancer go burr. You know what I mean? Right. And it's a big body out on the field. Yeah, because Car Curry can't deal with a stat over 3,200. And so Saber Dancer being like at least 3,400 yeah. is like pretty dang good. So I, I ultimately think that Luna Lights are pretty good picks to, because they have a really good Car Curry matchup. I would say that they have a favorable Shiranui matchup. I mean, it's not perfect because they play stuff like Needle Ceiling. And uh, Shirinui Samurai can banish it, stuff like that. Uh, level 10 can untarget, destroy. But overall, the the Luna Light player should be playing enough like defensive hand traps where they can wait until the Shirinui player overcommits to the board and then punish them by having untargetable OTK. Now, I, I have to say that uh, you probably don't know what you're talking about because Needle Ceiling is not a good card. The needle ceiling is pro. Dude, you're gonna see more needle ceilings in this KC Cup than ever before. Dude, the stocks are so good on that card, man. Are oh, they? Baby. I don't That's know. I, I feel like it's not a good card, and you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, man. A free board wipe that will also stock your grave is pretty bad. Yeah, well, that say. it comes from a doo doo box, so I don't know why you're going into that anyway. Yeah, dude, the one with Canadian heroes. Yeah, it's a bad box. Yeah, so. Anyways, but the Chris Dry matchup, I would say, is the biggest thing keeping Luna Lights down because they have Sea Stealth Attack, which is non-targeting destruction. Uh, 
as well as they have impact, they have ametric stuff like that. So you're definitely going to want to consider teching as much as you can against the Crystron matchups without hurting mm -hmm. your main consistency. So overall, I think Lunalize could be a really good pick if you're not trying to play the big three. What are you going to play, Herf? If I was going to try hard this Casey Cup, mm, I would probably play Shiranui through the early rounds and then at least like day one and then day two try to figure out what what i see the meta is um maybe switch to car curry and with because the nice thing about car curry is your back row is basically whatever you want it to be right so if you're seeing a lot of other car curries or magician girl stuff like that oh that's the other deck i just completely forgot about oh my jesus magician girls are another really good pick um uh, but i'll get to that after uh, yeah, and then Magician Girls or Car Curry is probably what I would switch to just purely because of how like winnable every single game is with those decks. Um, and then you can really have a lot of tech space to kind of figure out what you want. What are, what are you playing against and what do you want to face? Okay. So Magician the, Girls, though. Mm. The meta is obviously going to evolve very quickly during the KC Cup. Obviously, we can't predict anything or know what's going to happen but how do you think it's going to shift uh i think i think people are going to i think we'll see a little bit of an uptick in cyber dragons honestly mm -hmm. um because they're just very very sacky and they have they have a, an ability to kind of otk through any board and just kind of get through games quickly uh, and that's why I think Lunalize could be another really good option because they're really good, fast OTK deck. And in, this is a meta with a lot of really control-based decks. So if you're able to get wins just a little bit faster than everybody else, you're going to have some success. Because like pretty much all of the decks, all of the top decks are in our control decks, which is something that doesn't really hasn't really happened in a while. All right, so what, what counters Shiranui the best? Mm, I would say probably... Um, magician girls. Have besides magician, magician girls, what do you got? Mm, besides magician girls, Sharon, we have a lot of really 50 50 matchups. Um, I would say maybe Car Curry with a lot okay, of. Okay, not Car Curry and not Chris Drons. Wait. What? What? <laughs> um, you could probably. You can probably counter them pretty effectively with uh, Luna Lights. Not Luna Lights. What else you got? Wait, why Why do I have to keep... Because I think there's going to be a lot of people uh, that aren't playing for the top 100. They're going to be playing for top 10,000. They're going to see Shiranui everywhere. And maybe they don't have Karakuri. Maybe they maybe. don't have Luna Lights. Maybe they don't have Magician Girls. There's got to be something else out there. You could try, like, Dark Magician. Dark Magician into, into Shiranui. Yeah, Dark Magician in general has a pretty good Shiranui matchup. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would say it's probably like 60 40, maybe you know 70 30, somewhere in there. What about them RBs, uh, the ritual beasts? Ritual beasts are have a lot of really strong matchups. I think Car Curry is going to keep them down, uh, just because the Car Curry matchup is so free for Car Curry that it's it's painful. Well, uh, see, however, my prediction is the Car Curry guys, they're going to be in the beginning, but they're going to move up and out of those lower ranks, and I think the lower ranks. You know, up to the 20, 30, 30K, that's going to be, you know, your platinum if you're playing on the ladder, basically. And you're going to gonna see Shiranui everywhere. This is, yeah, Ritual so, Beast could do really well. So I'm, that's what I'm thinking mo a lot of the people who are going to be watching this video might might be. That's where I'm going to be. That's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be, I'm not going to play, uh, go hard or try hard. I'm just going to try to get a couple of prismatics out of this whole deal. So if I get, you know, 20K out of this whole thing, I'll be happy. So how do I counter them Shiranui? Um, uh, well, the Shiranui matchup, you're, you're definitely going to be wanting to play a lot of Kanadias and Floodgates, just general, mm. generic Book of Moons to help disrupt those, uh, disrupt those synchro plays and prevent them from being able to set up, because once they can establish that whole, like, ladder climb, um, they're really dangerous. So, I mean, kind of a controlled Dark Magician would do really, really well, like, with some Kanadias, maybe. Uh, some karma cuts. I think you could do pretty well. You could at least get through five thousand. So, what about what about arrow mages? Arrow mages, you could probably win a lot of duels to people just not wanting to play against you. 
I think that's their main <laughs> benefit. Is that what about just, them super heavy samurais? You know, super heavy samurais. They're kind of bad, honestly. All right, Dragoonity. Dragoonity, uh, Dragoonity are pretty interesting. Um, they're not like a good deck, but they're really not bad, right? Like they have like always good potential, mm -hmm. but yeah, I guess it just depends upon the list that the player is playing and what they're playing against. Because if they're playing like the Cards of Consonance Hatred Nade version, I think that'll probably do the best for this Casey Cup. All right. So what what strategy would you recommend the play as many games possible with a quick deck or try to get wins with a slower deck i think in general i think uh, especially negative one has kind of proved this over like when he's done well in casey cups is that your win rate matters more than how many games you play right like you're gonna have to play a lot of games regardless right so you might as well want you would rather have higher quality games than like <laughs> have to play like 600 games and have like a 52 win percentage right right like that that like so it's better to shoot for like that 200 to 300 game with like a closer to 60 percent win rate so really consistent well-rounded control decks typically have the best um best result in that regard all right so we kind of did it before but i want you to give me your top three in order of the meta decks for this KC mm -hmm. Cup, and we're gonna hold you to it. So number one, Car Curry. Mm, I think I think because I forgot about Magician Girls, Car Curry might be. I don't know. Let me think. So Shira Nui, obviously, probably probably gonna be number one to play this KC Cup. Well, they're gonna win. I'm asking who's gonna win. One, mm -hmm. two, and three. Probably Shira Nui again. Like I could definitely see Nui see Shira Nui having another really good case. Uh, so, okay, so like Shira Nui, Kara Curry. Mm. And Magician. then probably hmm. it's a toss up Chris between Christrons or Magician Girls. Okay. I definitely think both could do really well. That's pretty maybe, easy. Maybe yeah, maybe we take maybe we take Kara Curry out of it completely and do Magician Girls number two, Christrons number three. I could see that. I could see that. Because I think people will just... Uh, I think putting a system down in your deck is pretty safe because you could run into a couple different decks with it and be fine. Mm -hmm. And I think that Car Curry in general, um, while they can win versus anything, they're, they also like can lose versus everything, if that makes sense. Like, rebricking is so painful with that deck. Like, restarting and then bricking again, like, you could just play something more consistent. Right. You know what I mean? And a lot of people still consider it to be the best deck, but overall, like, it's starting to get phased out by, like, Magician Girls and Shira Nui just having so much back row for a car career to mm -hmm. handle. Like, they don't, you don't always have Cosmic Cyclone. Like, when you do have Cosmic Cyclone, it's amazing, but, you, like I said, you don't always have it, which hurts you. All right, why don't we talk about top three off-meta rogue decks then? You said Luna Lights, that'd be number one. Lights, Blue Eyes, number yeah. two. Yeah, Luna Lights, Blue Eyes, Cyber Dragons. All right. I think we're going we're gonna to end it there. I think that those are some pretty strong predictions from her, so we'll see. So let's just do them one more time so I can remember. Shira Nui, Magician Girls, Chris Drons, mm -hmm. then maybe Kara Curry. Rogue decks, we got what? Luna Lights, Blue Eyes, and then Cyber Dragons. All right, so we're going to check back after the KC Cup. Is Herf a dick? We'll find out <laughs> after this KC Cup. Well, yes, but was I right about the KC Cup? Right, yeah. Well, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. All right, so we're going to get out of here. I uh, Why don't you guys tell us in uh, the comments below what you think the top three are going to be? Because I think uh, the, uh, the KC Cup starts for me like Thursday night at midnight going into Friday. So this video is coming on Thursday. So it's the day of basically, or th this evening it's going to be starting. So we'd like to see um, your predictions. All right. So put them in the comments below. Um, and then make sure to get in our discord because that's where we host all of our tournaments. And we have a great new player channel in there. You can get in there and ask all your questions. And then on Saturday nights, and Herf will be joining us on Saturday nights, uh, new player streams on Twitch. So we can answer your questions and play some new player decks. 
Doesn't that sound like fun, Herf? Well, I, did, I was just told about this. That's Literally. right. So, <laughs> Herf, we'll see you on Saturday night, folks. We're going to get out of here. I'm Circus. That's Herf. Uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs>